And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider. My name is Johnny Retro and welcome back to the channel. That's right, a brand new Nintendo Mini Direct. This was the Nintendo Partner Showcase. Yeah, this Direct kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, it just ended, I just watched it. And uh, let's talk a little bit about it, shall we? First of all, we all knew that this was going to be a short presentation. But uh, me personally, I didn't thought that it was going to be that short. I mean, it was under 10 minutes. And even though we were not expecting a lot of announcements, I still left a little bit disappointed, but I will leave that to the end of the video. So let's recap really quick, I have my notes here. Uh, let's start with Cadence of Irule, and we are going to have three brand new DLCs of this game. We're going to have new characters, new songs, I believe it is going to be 39 new songs in total. And to be honest, I still haven't dwelled into this game yet, but uh, the cool thing is that this game is going to have a future release, a complete full edition which is going to be released in October 23 this year with all of the DLCs. And the thing is that I'm not very much into rhythm games, uh, even though this seems interesting because it's kind of retro and uh, retro is my thing, but with this upcoming full physical edition, I might get into it. Next we had some news about Rogue Company, an online shooter game and uh, we saw some gameplay footage on the Switch. And the good news is that this game is going to have cross-platform gaming. Next, we also saw some gameplay footage on the Switch of WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Again, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of wrestling games, but I mean, a lot of you are, probably. Last but not least, the last announcement, and I think that this was the big one. We all knew that Shin Megami Tensei 5 was coming, and uh, yeah, it was finally fully revealed, and it's going to be released next year, 2021. We saw the trailer, we saw some footage, it's going to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive, but we are also going to have a remaster, that's right, a remaster of Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, also to be released next year, 2021. And here's the thing, am I super excited with these upcoming Shin Megami Tensei games? Well, no, just because I'm not a fan of the series in the sense that I never played it, but I know that the series has a huge, huge fan base, and I'm very happy for you guys, believe me. And I really, really enjoy and get this remastered concept. But uh, my question is, why a remaster of the third game? Why not a remaster of the first games or the first couple of games? Because it will be great for me, for example, to, to jump into this wagon and maybe do the transition to Shin Megami Tensei 5. And this, of course, is just my personal opinion. And again, I'm not hating on it. I, I'm very happy for the fans. And in the end, I do get it because, I mean, Atlas is, is an iconic name when it comes to JRPGs. And uh, Persona is very, very popular these days. So uh, I do get it. But again, I would prefer to see a remaster or remake of the first couple of games. But if you are a Shin Megami Tensei fan, please let me know down below what do you think about this upcoming remaster. And one thing that it is important to notice is that due to the pandemic situation, all of the release dates might be on hold. Now to sum it up, again guys, we were not expecting a lot from Nintendo, but in my opinion I think that Nintendo really really missed a very good opportunity as as a marketing point of view. In the sense that, well, in the home console gaming community scene right now, all the eyes and sights are going towards the upcoming brand new Xbox and the PS5. But the thing is that right now, Sony and Microsoft are kind of in this silent limbo because we know that these upcoming consoles are on the way, but uh, we still don't have an official release date and price. So I think that Nintendo could have used this Direct to showcase more things, you know, more announcements. Uh, maybe more third parties, or even a full Nintendo Direct with with IPs, you know, with stronger IPs. Yeah, so I think that a partner showcase didn't make that much sense for me. You know, we just got a couple of announcements. There were five games under 10 minutes. But let's not forget that this is middle of July. The year is not over yet, and Nintendo still has a couple of tricks under its sleeves. I really think that Nintendo is holding up, and uh, we are going to have a brand new, full Nintendo Direct, maybe later on this year. There's a lot of rumors going on with upcoming releases. Uh, one of them, which I'm very excited, and I really hope that this will turn out to be truth, which is a brand new Mario All-Stars game, Mario All-Stars 2. I also think that Nintendo will eventually present us with brand new hardware, I don't know, maybe a 4K Switch, who knows? Maybe not for now, but hardware is going to be a problem for Nintendo on the next generation, uh, mainly due to third-party support. And yes, graphics is not the most important thing, and Nintendo does have some very, very strong IPs, but I mean, the next gen is almost here, and uh, the brand new Microsoft console and Sony console look amazing, and uh, they're going to be very, very powerful consoles. And speaking about IPs, let's not forget about Breath of the Wild. 
2. I really think that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be announced this year, and I really think that the game is going to be released early 2021. And when it comes to Zelda, especially Breath of the Wild 2, I mean, it doesn't matter if Cyberpunk is coming, it doesn't matter if Ghost of Tsushima is here, uh, the brand new PS5, the brand new Xbox, I mean, Breath of the Wild 2 is going to conquer all. And this is coming from a guy that is not a massive Zelda fan, but I mean, Breath of the Wild, that game is a masterpiece. So yeah, fingers crossed for Nintendo. And let me know about you guys, let me know down below what are your thoughts about this mini, mini direct. Are you excited about the upcoming Shin Megami Tensei games? And what surprises do you guys think that Nintendo is holding? So let me know down below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to put a like on this video, please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.